Hello, and welcome to Fortify Unplugged. In this video, we will showcase the new Security Assistant plugin for IntelliJ. Security Assistant is a lightweight and powerful plugin that brings real-time security analysis as you write your code. It incorporates structural and configuration analyzers in conjunction with a specially curated rule pack to detect potentially dangerous uses of functions and APIs and insecure application configurations in property and XML files. Security Assistant empowers a developer to write more secure code, providing detailed security information about the issues and recommendations for how to mitigate them, all within the IDE. Let's take a quick look at Security Assistant. The first thing you want to do after installation is to configure the plugin. The Security Assistant configuration can be found by going to the settings page. Here you can specify your fortify.license file by browsing to where the file is located. And then you can update the rule pack. This can be done by choosing a local directory or by downloading it from the Fortify update server or your local SSC instance. Once the rule packs have been updated and the rules have been loaded, Security Assistant will be ready for work. You can open up a file and it will automatically run the analysis and will report the findings. You can see them by opening the Fortify Security Assistant window. Issues will also show up as you type your code. If you want to see more details about the vulnerability, you can right click on the issue and click View Vulnerability Details. This will open up the vulnerability details window where it'll give a detailed explanation of the issue and also provide recommendations on how to address the vulnerability. Another option is to run an analysis of the full project. To do this, go to code, inspect code, select whole project and click OK. Security Assistant will analyze all of the files in the project and will report the findings in both the Problems window and the Fortify Security Assistant window. Once the analysis is complete, you can go to the Problems window and look for Security Assistant uh, to find the findings from the analysis. You can expand them to see the different categories of findings and even down to the actual finding itself. You can also go to the Fortify Security Assistant window, uh, which will also display all of the findings from the null analysis. Uh, and you can choose to view uh, them differently um, uh, you can order by file name, uh, Fortify Priority, the rule ID, uh, the category. Uh, you can also um, choose to show only the current file. Uh, so if you have ran a full analysis of the project, uh, but you only want to focus on the file you're on, uh, you could select that to only show the findings of that file. If you'd like to suppress an issue so it is not displayed in the table, you can do so by using IntelliJ's built-in suppression functionality for code inspections. You can toggle to view suppression is suppressed issues in the Security Assistant window by selecting Show Suppressed. To suppress an issue, you can select the issue from the table and in the context window, To suppress an issue, you can select an issue from the Security Assistant window 
and from the quick fix menu click the arrow on the view vulnerability details line and you can choose uh, how you would like to suppress it you can suppress it for the entire class or for the method or for the statement here i just chose for the statement and as you can see the issue was removed from the table if you'd like to view suppressed, you can go to the view options and click the show suppress and the issue will appear again with the suppressed um, uh, designation here. You can also disable an entire category of issues by going to the settings page. And under editor, and inspections, scroll down until you find the security assistant groupings. And from here, you can select which category you would like to disable. So for instance, you can disable code correctness and click OK and they will be removed from the security assistant window. And that pretty much wraps it up. The Fortify Security Assistant for IntelliJ IDEA plugin supports IntelliJ IDEA version 2020.1 through 2021.3 and can be downloaded from the JetBrains marketplace. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.